Bino Black here, folks. And to start off with, remember this photo here because we're going to go to get and go to Neumeyer's feeds down there. And I want to thank a friend that uh, he sent me something to look at around 6 uh, a.m. And we'll have that here in a minute. But we got some really interesting stuff. And as you can see, this stuff all matches up. Let me go to my website and I'll pull up my uh, America's First, America's uh, Grace. I made a couple of them. And the idea, this stuff's all matching up. And now, basically, what we were seeing in a western park in the United States earlier this year is now showing up down again, down at Antarctica, at Niermeyer Station. Uh, okay, folks, and to keep you mesmerized here, this is not Santa Claus putting up lights at Niermeyer Station. This is actually from outer space. The most amazing thing, no matter what, is I would love, and I think everybody else would love, to get some of the footage now this watch the snow also because this shapes right around the corner of the station down there okay it is totally amazing okay right around the top corner of the station there okay now watch this okay this is in frames okay the big bright now i'm going to be able to show to you and prove to you that the idea that this possibly could be the the sun Okay, but it should not be because it moves away and because that's not the sun. Okay, so we do know that this is coming up before the sun and I'll also be able to show you that it comes up on some photos here for off the one of the ships down there on the, from the British station that the idea that this now I'm backing up, so watch the clock as we're backing up through time. Okay, is what we've been always seeing down there. Okay, we know that that object gets in front of the sun. We've proved that if you've been watching the videos. We've also, and actually, right again, right there, proved that it's so small that the tower actually blocks it. Okay, but it's very bright. Okay, so there you go again that it's getting blocked by the tower. Okay, the roof tower up there blocks it. Okay. And watch the clocks, and I didn't play with you at all. I just went back and forth there to prove that, okay? And also that this light beam that it shits down, that it actually puts such a strong light beam out, as you see it come across here, as I'm stepping, just going through the controls. And like I say, it gets blocked by the tower, so it's that small. And we have already proved, watch my old videos, this. And also basically go back to the America's uh, Nibiru's first USA and you just go back and look at my videos I can't remember my exact name on it but see how it blocks out light and everything and not a black light an actual white light okay so it actually white lights out everything it's not a blackout it's a white out top to bottom okay and then the idea that if we go back enough You will see that it comes across the brown or red dwarf in front of this because this gets in front of whatever's bright in the sky at not. And yes, they get 23 to 24 hours of sunlight down there. Now, this could be a cloud-based cover coming along, but it really shouldn't be because look how clear the sky is. Okay? And watch the clocks. I'm just going through the video. So you can watch the clocks that I go backwards and forwards and try to check stuff out. But there, as you see, the clock at way late, early a.m., and then the idea I'm going to show you where that our object, which is small, that gets blocked up by the tower, and there's the baby Lucachina, and then remember that the photos that we had here, this is getting repetitive here, but and then watch this footage. And then, folks, keep in mind that the idea that the CPM and the RADs and the idea that we do have, I am going to, between now and July, I'm going to be able to pretty much nail it down and show that the idea that the governments are not around the world. They're not going to tell you that more than likely Mother Nature, something very bright in the sky, and also these volcanoes have started from uh, some kind of powerful electronic or just basically straight out light beams, probably like a... Uh, like a laser that we have developed military wise and you're going to end up seeing this action that we've already showed you from why if you watch my videos that this which is not the sun because of the clock time if you watch the clock let me try to make sure you can see that clock real good let's go back real fast so you understand and trust me on the clock 
I don't really care if anybody trusts me or not, because anybody that's been watching me long enough knows that I'm just basically showing you straight out factual data truth of photos, okay? This is not the sun. They get 23 to 24 hours of sun down there, but we know that this also gets in front of whether this is Rigel Canteris B or whatever back there, okay? And you see the, uh, basically right here, the objects again that get basically filtered and projected by that object falling in front of that Rigel Canteris B. Whether, it, whether it's its moons or not, and they're real fast, we will get that with the cold air down there and the heat off this thing is so hot that it actually puts that through the air. Watch that cloud or vapor show up, okay? That's how hot that it actually gets. That it actually, with the cool air in the atmosphere down there, will create a cloud mist. Bam, right there, okay? And we have shown it also in the dark. And let me go to some photos that I want to show you that I uh, got up over the, like on Friday and didn't get a chance over the weekend to give you a video. So uh, go to watch this film down there. It's very amazing what ends up happening. Uh, just like what I just showed you. So if you go back to my very first video, folks, you'll realize that the super giants exist. It also, this one's got a lot of views and they realize, people realize it by seeing how many views have looked at it. And don't trust the counters these days. We've also proved through some of my videos and also at Dutch Sense that the idea of the view counters can't be trusted. They don't want, Karasov want you to see too much of the truth. So they know that small counts help people not look at videos that much because they figure, well, if it's not if it's not very many of these videos, it must not be very good or must not have anything credible to it. Okay? So the idea, if you go back to the amazingly clear, beautiful first Elenin, you will see the same stuff. It's not... Uh, camera flare as we have proved in the past and as you see we're getting fires again something something we're trying to pop in and you'll see common allen in infinite positive the idea and what they are is the, an amazing grace clear beauty of the one and basically these are holograms from these objects way off in space now now i need and then basically watch the truth exposed because the idea you look at earth and probably what the idea that they hey, chased that female astronaut around and made her look like a fool and everything like that with her wearing her diapers and stuff because astronauts know the truth look at earth on google earth and just look at the earth folks we have been around a long time mankind some kind of intelligent life form folks us why would we change that much anything with a brain you look down at earth and you will see objects watch truth exposed watch that one okay those, that number of people didn't watch it for no reason at all, okay? So, and don't pay attention to counters because the idea, like I say, Karasov wants your counters to be low. And watch my last video on the idea that me disclosing, I'm not a lawyer, but the idea that when they start changing words on things that they have on the deal, they don't want to be responsible for us communicating with each other because in the future, telling the truth, it's not going to be a good thing because it's going to be bleeding through what's actually going on in the world and the idea that control doesn't make any money if you're telling the truth about this could be that now check the butter prices in the world out folks and think about cpms and rads okay over in norway and stuff they scientists are smart enough and also in germany to shut down the nuclear reactors because the idea that there's nuclear energy getting bombarded from space from light or lasers or something and the idea that the butter, they raise the price up like crazy because the idea that basically they're not telling you not to eat the butter or drink or, you know, I mean, eat the butter. Now, fresh beef is safe, folks. I will tell you that right now. The idea that if you go back and research any history of any kind of a nuclear attack, worst case scenario and stuff like that, stuff that's in a can is not going to be healthy. Metal attracts radiation. The fresher beef you've got, the fresher meat you've got, the fresher pork you've got, the fresher chicken you've got, fresh out of your meat cutter's case is going to be more healthy for you than anything that's been sitting around in a damn can. All right, so watch all my old videos and the idea. Let me go to some photos to show you some more what's going on down. Now, we're a little joke, folks. This is not the uh, Bonneville Snowman, and it's not <laughs> Sasquatch, okay? One of the scientists is just basically walking around. If you watch the footage down there, you'll see a lot of the scientists get out and walk around. They got a lot of uh, equipment on uh so forth and so on. I think everybody by now doesn't believe in Sasquatch. Or you do. If you believe in Sasquatch, I don't want you to be pissing you off too much. Now, there's a lot of photos here that will show the tetrahydrons, terahydrons, and they're up there. And you can see the gigantic color V we get in the sky that even bleeds through when the idea that it's cloudy and overcast 
and it still gives a nice image. You'll see it here. There's a big V, okay? And then you get these objects down here, also tetrahydrons that are terahydrons, and they'll be, they'll be down there like crazy at the end of the, rud stri at the runway strip. And no, it's nothing to do with them landing some high-tech plane or anything like that. This stuff has been in the sky down there for a long time. Now, if I blaze through these, you'll be able to freeze these, and, and you'll be able to see the times because they're on there. And when I zoomed in on them and so forth, to a thousand this, that, the dates are usually pretty conjunctional close to the objects and so forth. And I'll keep going here. And hopefully you can just go ahead and freeze these as you go through and you'll see these objects, okay? There's been some stuff that I caught around the sky. This is part of the do, I think, with the idea that, yeah, they started this contact bullshit with the idea that instead of being a friend, add as a contact. Well, uh, we need to keep an eye on the idea that this is a big flare of the videos. Okay, the... The, the darkness that you'll also get, these are coming down and being even through when it's when it's dark. That is not a snowflake and it's not freezing anything in the air. That is an actual dark object. We're getting dark light reflected off these holograms also. That is dark light. That is not snow. That is not a flake. That is one of those long straights that you see out in space up by the sun. All these multiple also. That's dark light. Okay? We actually get black dark light reflected somehow by bouncing like a mirror off of other and there's tetrahydrons triangulations coming around so very interesting shots from down at Nehemiah on these times and so forth I don't have time and there's a big shadow that you get out there also check that one out that emphasizes it even more and the idea that the other ones are even should make you emphasize and wake up even more because they were in this overcast and the dark light still gets through See, check this dark light. That is dark light that gets reflected down onto Earth, okay? Dark lights and white lights. That is dark light, okay? And it's not the camera doing any kind of a glitch or anything like that, folks. And watch all the videos as uh, we have some photographs that you could still go on through here on to. And then we got more at Casey. Uh, the times are on, the, on these ones were... Uh, if I can move the deal around, hang on. Okay, here's the, here's the time at Casey and stuff that these photos were just before that we're at. And forget about the light there, but then check this out. There she is again, and there's our big V. Okay? And more than likely, that is, it could be super giants all the way back, way far away, and projecting their light down. But we'll have to wait on confirmation on that. Pretty neat uh, cloud stuff, actually. It looks like a gigantic uh, whale, killer whale eating a shark. So there, there gets to be some pretty freaky stuff that the idea that uh, can really get people to have information, I mean, you know, could make fake things to brainwash people about what's coming in the sky, okay? Because it's a bunch of holograms and it's whatever you take by looking at it, but the thing is, that is the object that gets in front of us. Now I'm going to hopefully try to be able to show you, if I get closer to the pictures on the boat, we're going to shift to a different boat, and there's here's some more of what that what you ended up seeing shape around Nehemiah Station on the earlier photos that I showed you. But this is way earlier in the month, okay? So it is some very interesting stuff, folks, that uh, radiant light that's up there that's doing shapes. And there's a, their dark light getting exposed down to Earth again. Dark black light being projected down to Earth. And there was another streaker there on the right. You just have to freeze these shots to look at it. And there's this gigantic beam that comes through there. And then more shots down here at uh, the British station. And basically, if you look the direction and the time that it comes up, that's the sun, folks, at 6 and 7 o'clock, okay? And on at 10 o'clock, okay? So that's the sun there in that direction that it comes up. But at 2.01, that smallness, that's not the sun. That's our Rigel Canteris B more than likely until I get disproved of it, okay? Check that out. That's also it, okay? It's not the sun. As you've seen earlier, remember, go back, and the 7 o'clock or so is the sun. The 1700 and later are not the sun, okay? That's not the sun. It's too early in the morning, okay? Now, that can be the sun at 4 to 6, okay? But not before 4, okay? And I believe I have a shot at the front of the ship. And also very interesting stuff that you can end up getting shots of down here. Or the idea they even turn the camera around on this shot. 
Watch the next video from Rose Amazing Shop.